My name is Bree and I'm 25 years old. So tell me about your current situation and how you ended up in Kensington. Um, I'm getting an annulment. I know Kensington from 10 years ago. I moved away. I made some money. I moved back. It's hard to make money around here. But I know a lot of people, so. I don't like being in a state where I don't know what street I'm on, especially in the winter time. What's a day look like for you out here? <clears throat> um, right now it's a lot better than it used to be. It used to be all work. And now I um, take as many naps as I can. I'll fall asleep anyway. <laughs> Seriously. And what is your drug of choice? Surviving. Surviving without the prescription I'm supposed to have from the freaking hospital. But the doctors and the nurses have much better access to my fucking seizure disorder and my fibromyalgia. And it doesn't matter how much morphine I'm supposed to be on. That nurse is gonna fucking give me some cough syrup and take the real thing. Just because. Right? Because that's how it works. So how do you go about supporting your habit? It doesn't feel like I'm supporting much of anything. These dudes get mad because you... They're like, oh, how could you miss that one? How could you turn that down? And I'll tell you that. Four dudes tried to act like they were going to pay me this morning. And I couldn't get money from any single one of them. Because all four of them, all four different cars, all four different people, if I got in their car and wasted an hour and a half doing what they asked me to do, wanted to beat me up, and take the payment back. So I didn't miss any money. I just missed up on an ass whooping today. Right? So I just gotta keep on walking, wait till the right one comes around. There is no right one. I'm not trying to do this today. Anyway, I'm three weeks out this time. It's been three weeks. I can't go home and pick up my fucking garbage. Because I left that home. Because dude tried to laugh in my face all day about how I'm out here for 18 hours. Then I have to go home, clean the bathroom, do the dishes, take a shower, and go to sleep in bed by myself. And then come back out here making a three hour commute every fucking day to get some fucking money to take care of his other three girlfriends. Anyway, so I did 10 weeks out here, eight weeks back there, and now I'm on week three, and I fucking hate this shit, and I hate these people, all of them, because they all walk by me, and they're like, by the way, girl, can I rob you today? By the way, can I get all your work? By the way, um, oh, I'm gonna give you this Lucy, but then I'm gonna take every fucking dollar you make today. What was your childhood like growing up? I don't, I don't think about childhood. What? Not having any children. Um, I don't Man, I have work. I don't know where the fuck I'm gonna do it at. 
because the dude is so fucking greedy with his ten motherfucking dollars he gets every time I walk through the door. He tries to get an extra five. He tries to get an extra work every time I walk through the fucking door. But, and I'm not allowed to go around the corner and do it for free anywhere. It doesn't matter how much money I have. It doesn't matter how much shit I need to buy. He catches me on somebody else's porch. That's it. How was your first drug experience? Panic. Right? Panic, it's not working enough. It's not. But everyone tells you it, like, it, it doesn't really, you're not supposed to feel it, or you do feel it. All you do is get sick. Sick with panic. Right. How were you introduced to drugs? In school. In elementary school. How you old? learn all about them, right? Then you can't find them for 20 years. Tell me what it feels like to have a drug addiction. I don't have a drug addiction. Anybody out here is doing the same damn thing. Everybody out here needs a fucking pill to wake up in the morning and act like life is okay. Right? And they won't let us have it. Ask Trump. He shut the whole country down. Over 90 year olds dying. They're supposed to be dead 30 years ago. Who, who cares? They love to ask me that question too, because once they ask me that question and I lie about it, then they think they can hang out with me when I can't fucking see them and steal everything I spent money on. Because I said I didn't do it, and they're going to hold me to that, right? Mm -hmm. It's none of their business what I fucking do. I only hang out with them for the time I hang out with them to get paid. What do you get paid to do? What do you get paid to do? Uh, you don't even know how annoying it is when you get home after doing all this fucking work and you get home and the dude is like, oh, well, make sure you wash your hands. I'm like, do you see some dirt? I don't see. I mean, you could live at a fucking abandoned house, right? It smells like someone put dog shit in every person's shoe and everyone's walking around with trap shit shoes it just smells so bad like you're lucky if they don't shit in the fucking corner they're lucky if shit isn't piled up to the ceiling people go and make it their home and then like stake all this claim on it and shit I respect that they sweep the floor every day, right? But still, it smells like people pissed on every fucking seat. Like, the worst is when you pay all this money to a clean apartment and it still smells like you're in the fucking trap. What the fuck am I paying to sit in this smell and I can't even see where I'm really at? Like, it's absurd. It doesn't make sense. And I'm tired of a fucking switchboard. I'm tired of these people in their fucking empty shells. If you can go back in time to when you was younger, what would you say to your younger self? I wouldn't, it doesn't matter what I would say. Nothing? You no, wouldn't give yourself any would advice? Change. Nothing would be any freaking different. No. It wouldn't matter. Who is the most important person to you and why? Um, myself. I'm the only one who's gonna be taking care of myself, right? I'm always gonna take care of me until I do it first. And I can't do it right now because there's not that many faucets that don't have shit piled up to the ceiling. Right? 
either way it fucking smells. If you had three wishes in this world, what would your three wishes be? I already did my three wishes, and I'm still sitting right here. Who cares? Just getting to someone's door because cops found me the first time I ever tried to do it outside and squirted all my work on the ground. So now I have to pay $50 a day if I want to be out here and do this thing. But there's fucking bums all up Allegheny and all up Kensington just doing it outside. Doing in front what? Of fucking kids and shit. Doing, doing what? drugs outside. Right? So I have to pay for everyone on the fucking block. Because I need to go inside for 10 minutes. And I do want it to only be five fucking minutes. Then I want to be right the back fuck outside. But that's too soon, right? So then I have to go kill two fucking hours being locked inside, paying a price to be there, but everything I do is wrong because all they want is another $10 as soon as they get the first one. You stole my